In this video, we'll take you through the steps required to connect your Android smartphone or tablet to the Canon EOS M100. We'll start by downloading the Canon Camera Connect app from Google Play before configuring the Bluetooth and Wi-Fi connections. Finally, we'll go through the basic features of the app and make sure everything's working as it should. All up, it should take about 5 to 10 minutes to get up and running. If you're following along with your own Android device, you may need to pause or replay the video every now and again. Let's get started. First up, we need to download and install the app. Head on over to Google Play and search for Canon Camera Connect. It's completely free. For it to work properly, the app requires access to your photos as well as your GPS, Wi-Fi and Bluetooth connections. You'll also need to accept the license agreement before setting up and using the app. Now it's time to open up the app and configure the Bluetooth and Wi-Fi connections. You can browse the welcome screens or just cut to the chase by tapping the skip button. Now this bit's really important so don't tap anything just yet. We're going to tap the close button here and show you the fastest way to connect. Make sure you're on this screen. Turn on the camera and then press the menu button. Next, go to the function settings menu, which looks like a little spanner. On the fourth menu screen, tap the wireless settings option. The first thing we need to do on this screen is to set the name that the camera will be known by on your device. To do that, hit the nickname menu. Tap the name field. Leave it set to that name or change it to something else before selecting the Menu OK button. Now head to the Bluetooth Settings menu. Tap Pairing to kick off the pairing process. Head back to your Android mobile device, making sure that the Canon Camera Connect app is still open. In a short space of time, the app will detect the camera's Bluetooth signal. Tap on the camera's name. The camera will then ask you to approve the connection. Once you've done this, both the camera and your device will confirm that a successful Bluetooth pairing has been made. Now it's time to set up the Wi-Fi connection. Tap Images on Camera. After a few short moments, your Android device will connect to the Wi-Fi network that the camera has created. Let's just check everything's working. What you're seeing here are thumbnails of all the images that are stored on the memory card in your camera. You can browse these images and even download them to your Android device. They're saved in the Photos app, meaning that you can share them just as you would with any other photo. You can also use Canon Camera Connect to remotely capture images using the Remote Live View function. Go back to the main menu of the app by pressing the arrow at the top left of the screen. Hit the Remote Live View Shooting button. This switches the camera to Live View and displays a real-time image of what the camera is seeing. Point the camera at a subject. Using the app, you can focus on an object in the frame and take a picture by tapping the on-screen Shutter Release button. The captured picture saves onto the memory card in the camera just like any other picture. You can also use the Bluetooth Remote Controller function to remotely capture images. This has the benefit of using much less battery power than Remote Live View. To access that function, we first need to terminate the Wi-Fi connection. On the main screen of the app, press the Close Wi-Fi Connection button, which appears as a small cross to the right of the camera icon. After a short while, you'll see that the Bluetooth connection is active again. Tap on the Bluetooth Remote Controller button. This works in a similar way to the Remote Live View function, except you don't see a real-time image of what the camera is seeing. Next time you want to access the on-camera images or use Remote Live View, you won't need to enter the Wi-Fi password, as your device will have it stored in memory. This means there's no need to do anything when you see this screen, apart from wait for the 15 to 20 seconds or so that it takes for the Wi-Fi connection to re-establish. Well, that's about it. 
We hope you found this video useful and that you're looking forward to using Canon Camera Connect with your EOS M100.